Hey, uh, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, I haven't filmed in pretty much maybe a month, okay? I haven't filmed everything of mine. As you guys know, is always pre-recorded. I always have things set up. Yes, I do not have makeup on. Yes, I'm filming on a holiday. Um, I think there's somebody who actually commented on one of my YouTube videos and they're like, no, this is, it's not a holiday today. Yes. Yes, when I post the video, it might not be a holiday, but when I film it, it probably is. So, it's a holiday today, it's May Day, and I kind of figured that I'm going to film, I have to get ready, I'm going somewhere this afternoon, so I kind of thought that I would just chill, catch up with you, try out a new foundation. I really don't buy much makeup lately because there's plans, there's plans in motion for me uh, for this year, so I don't have time to be spending my money on makeup. However time all the money <laughs> to be spending my money on makeup um but i'm here i'm here today and i'm sitting in this space the foundation we are going to be testing out today is this one this is the l'oreal true match now i have wanted this foundation for such a long time that i'm just glad that we are here i'm glad that we are in this position i'm glad that we are doing these things um the makeup look is not going to be intense or serious that's why you guys are all the way back there and i'm here because me, yeah, I just don't have time to be zooming in and whatever. You know how I feel about uh, doing makeup videos now. So anyway, we're here to do a little bit of a catch up and we are in the beauty room. We're going to talk about this as well. And we're going to talk about some just general life updates. We're going to talk about how I've just been scars, scars, scars on social media because I don't know, social media is just not really a great place for me right now, um, <laughs> especially in the last two weeks. <laughs> It's been a little bit of a mess and a, 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 a just tragic mess. So if I'm looking down, just be aware that I am looking at a mirror. There's a mirror. There's a tiny little mirror. Um, uh, but yeah, the whole point of this is just to do an update and not really to focus on the makeup. Apart from maybe the foundation, okay? I don't even know. I don't even know where my life is right now. I don't know. What, what is my life? What is my life? This is the MAC. This is one of the best concealers that MAC has. This is a pro long wear concealer. Now, if you've been following my social media or you follow it quite a bit, you will notice that I've been a little bit scarce on social media. As somebody who's used to uploading maybe at least, uh, what's this, twice a week in terms of YouTube videos, I've pretty much only uploaded once a week. And right now, currently as it stands, I haven't uploaded in two weeks. And I'm going through the most, okay? I'm literally, I'm going through the most. I am, I am. Um, but life happens. Social media has become a little bit of a toxic place for me. I do not enjoy social media in any way. I uh, uh, did a little bit of a, uh, a blog post on social media and it's toxicity especially to my life in particular right now um uh, i'm gonna use this nyx palette and i promise you i'll be done with my eyes literally in the next two seconds because i couldn't hello could you respect the process because i genuinely couldn't be bothered with uh my eye look today okay we're gonna go with rustic orange i want something very very simple and as you guys know this is not no longer a makeup channel, makeup tutorial kind of um, channel. Um, <laughs> social media has been extremely toxic for me. I did a blog post about it. I did an Instagram post about it, which maybe I'll attach here somewhere. And I talked about how for me, it just wasn't a healthy space anymore for me. I would wake up and the first thing that I would do is look at my phone. I would wake up and check what's going on, check what's going on on Instagram. For me, the one social media app that I hate right now is Instagram because Instagram is a really good place to go if you want to feel inadequate about your life, about who you are, about your weight, about the color of your skin, about how much clothes you should have but you don't have, about the life that you should be living but you're not living in case you don't if, if you do see this from where you are <laughs> um i'm wearing an elastic band because yesterday i cut myself with a razor two places on my fingers 
we're not even well it looks like the look that i'm recreating right now is the look that quite a few people asked about in my assumptions tag video and i actually like it quite a bit myself because as you guys know i'm somebody who really appreciates just clean basic looks um so yeah instagram has been extremely extremely toxic for me i don't appreciate it in any way it makes me feel uncomfortable it makes me feel like i should be doing more um and honestly every time i would leave instagram i would leave instagram feeling shitty about myself feeling shitty about my life and this is not what social media should be doing according to me this is not what social media should be doing social media should actually be a place of motivation or at least to have fun and enjoy yourself and you know check on other people that you follow friends and things like that but for me it really hasn't been that can you see how i'm pretty much done with my eyes <laughs> and i wonder that for me if it's become a toxic place for me can you imagine a young girl who follows their favorite uh beauty blogger or follows their favorite uh, social media personalities not even a young young girl like d d late high school and varsity vibes you know and you follow your and you're just easily influenced can you imagine what a detrimental impact that has on someone i mean i'm not easily pressured in any way i just sort of do my own thing and do it the way that i want to do it and that's it but can you imagine how it would feel for somebody who's who who's not like that Social media did become very toxic for me over the last two weeks because um, someone tried to come for me and my life and my private life on social media and it was not a good time. It was not a good time. A lot of people got impacted. A lot of people got affected. People I am attached to got affected and it was a very, very difficult time for me. I hate social media at this point in my life. So... <sighs> let us continue with the foundation um uh, primer 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 for what's this um primer normally in the winter time i'm more inclined to use the bobby brown uh vitamin e vitamin enriched face base i really really like it it i'm a fan okay someone came for me on social media they tried me People love to try me on social media. People think that because you're an influencer, you're not going to retaliate to a degree. But if you attack my life or my personal life or the people in my life that are personal to me, I'm going to be very, very upset. Or if you attack my integrity or my character, I'm going to be very, very upset. So someone did that a couple of weeks ago. Um, pretty much, wow, my neighbor is looking at me through his window. How nice. That was a big uh, thing. Anyway, this we're trying out the uh, True Match Super Blendable Foundation in the color Warm, seven and a half Warm, which is Golden Chestnut. First time I've heard a lot about this foundation. Ooh, do I need to shake this up a little bit? It's it's really wet. <laughs> um, ugh, okay very very orange actually reminds me of the urban decay one very liquidy as well which a little bit more liquidy than most of my foundations which is very very odd because i've got liquid foundations but here we go let's see so yeah so social media hasn't been hasn't been a good place for me right now and I, I don't like it. I can imagine how it affects a lot of people. It's just extremely, extremely toxic. Mmm, do I look... Okay, I'm so sorry. Let's just meet that. Do I look a little bit yellow? Well, it's blending in quite well, but you need to consider the, the lighting and all of that. With me right now, it looks pretty much damn near perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think this is... It's nice. It's, oops. It's, uh, let's see if we can blend it a little bit because I can see just little patches that I would need covered up because of uh, hyperpigmentation. So we're just gonna try and 
add a little bit more and see if we can blend it out but it's really really pretty it's nice Ooh, hello okay and it's it's it it feels light on the skin which is really really nice as well so I kind of like it we're just gonna have to see how it wears throughout the day which then I will do probably a blog post or an Instagram post to confirm how it wears so <clears throat> um, apart from that uh, renovations uh, there's been changes that have been happening in the house that I haven't really spoken much about but you guys know I'm very much a home uh, decor person and I love home decor so I've been doing a couple of changes for the winter time you know changing small things here and there um, you have probably seen that I've also added some new plants to my plant family but the problem is I haven't named them yet so that's a problem um, but my biggest project has been this room that we are sitting in right now this room has stressed me the um, Sasha Buttercup for underneath my eyes because it is nothing short of sheer brilliance. Brilliance. Ooh, Sasha, Sasha tends to get a little bit messy because not only is it my beauty space, but it's also where I work as well. Uh, on work work stuff and also on, um, blog stuff as well. Whew. Okay, Sasha girl, take it easy. Okay, the true match still feels really nice on my skin. In fact, actually, in, in fact, actually, in actual fact, it um, feels quite light. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin, which is really, really nice. And then Sasha is coming through and making me lighter. <laughs> but I've just, I've, I've been stressed out. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've dropped the amount of times that I upload. I normally upload twice a week. I haven't uploaded twice a week in a little bit. In fact, I haven't uploaded in the last two weeks. Um, thank you, Sasha. <laughs> thank you for messing me up too. Itch. Ooh, I like this foundation. So I really like this foundation. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing medium to full. It's like a really buildable foundation, but it's pretty much covered everything. And I don't, I'm, I'm quite lucky. My skin is uh, quite a happy chappy right now. Oh, lovely. I can find my contour brush of course as you know I always contour with Bobbi Brown if I don't contour with Bobbi Brown I contour with um, what's this uh, Palladio Palladio has a really really nice Ooh, look at that Palladio has a really really nice um, contour uh, what's this little thing a little bit of the top there really really pretty pretty i love sasha sasha just sort of lifts the area um below your eyes it's actually really quite nice so the office space is 90 sort of maybe 95 percent done there's just a couple of things um but that's that's well on its way i'm going to be filming from here from now on uh in here from now on so that's fine Ooh, absolutely lovely. Gorgeous. Yes. Um, then for brows, we're just gonna complete it with my Rimmel Brow Styling Gel in uh, clear. It's like, just brush it out, keep them put, make them look pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Then a... Uh, Highlighter that I've just loved, 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 loved going back to recently is this one. And it's a Bobbi Brown one. It's one of the first shimmer bricks that actually came out from uh, Bobbi Brown. This is in bronze. Abs Listen, one thing that I have... <laughs> Hello! <laughs> one thing that I have not necessarily been... Um... Oof. Just go extra, it's fine, man. It's fine. Just be, yeah, man. Just us. Uh, I've really, really been enjoying this one recently, and I actually really, really love it. Oh, hello, sister. Hey, sisters. <laughs> James Charles. 
Okay. Um, uh, I've started the gym. If anyone who follows me knows that another life update is the gym. I've been going to the gym for about three months now, uh, just under three months, and it's been wonderful. Wow, watching your body just tone up and go. <laughs> But I'm gonna do a gym video, so. So I'm back with my lashes. The lashes are on. Took me a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is the norm, okay? Just, well, if it wants to work, okay? We're gonna complete and finish the look with this. I think it's a new product, this one. This is the L'Oreal Les Chocolat. Les Chocolat Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. Sorry. Mm. Oh yeah, that's cute. Mm. Feels nice on the lips. Yeah, it's nice. I and actually like it. I actually like the look. Mm. Okay, so that's pretty much it uh, with a little bit of an update. A uh, lot has happened, a lot of changes, a lot of things that have been done in the house and all of that. Uh, a lot of changes in this room. I'm officially back in this room. Which I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a catch-up session. I am going to be filming filming a couple of more videos after this one. So if you see this look, then don't be surprised because you know that's how I do it. Um, yeah, if you struggle with social media as well, take some breaks, you know. Try to follow other things that you're passionate about. Follow home decor. Uh, I'm, I'm a home decor fan, so I follow a lot of home decor um, um, uh, accounts and things like that. Uh, food accounts as well and things like that. So try to switch it up a notch. It makes social media a little bit more bearable, especially apps like Instagram and things like that. Uh, but for the most part, I am done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm glad to be back. It feels good. It felt good to sit here and film. Until the next one, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Until then, sign on.